In this segment of the Family Accounting webinar, we'll review payments. And there's pretty much three ways to do it. We can do it through quick ledger posting. We can do it directly on each and every ledger. Or you could use Tuition Express if you wanted to. So let's go through the manual way. We go to Adams. Adams family shows up. They owe 776 And they have a payment for me. I can hit P for payment. And maybe it's a payment by cash. And we are defaulting to the amount due. Maybe they only pay $100. And I can post an exit. That's how to do it manually. The next most automated way would be to go to Quick Ledger Posting. So we're going to go to Functions, Family Accounting, Quick Ledger Posting. And what this does, it starts me off at this family. And let's say you get all your payments on Friday last week. And your post date would be Friday, going back in time. And I've got all my payments by check. And my default amount is the amount owed. So if I had a pile of checks, I can simply say post. And onto the Adams ledger, I would post the full 676 that's due. And I could click down and go down to the next family. The next family owes me $25. There's the $25. There's the check. And I can simply click post. If they had given me something other than just that amount, maybe they paid $11, I can post and continue on down. So that's the quick way to do a posting, segregate your money into payment by check and then payment by cash, and then use the quick ledger posting to apply those payments all at once, kind of in a group way going down. And of course, the last way to apply payments would have simply been if you had all of the ledgers already billed out and you were using Tuition Express, you could process this as a Tuition Express batch and simply get the monies collected automatically through ACH or credit card fees.